after I've been thinking about this, 90s mountain bikes, steel ones especially, they're the most versatile bikes ever produced so far. Agree or disagree? Here's my reasoning. Let's take the frames. The frames, more often than not steel. If anything needs repairing, you can repair it. You can weld it. You can even weld the disc type brake tabs on the back. The spacing, 135 generally fits a bunch of different stuff up to like 11 speed bottom brackets 68 mil 73 mil tend to be you know your standard threading they can um, fit a whole different range of bottom brackets and then we come to the head tube the head tube on these is more often than that a one and one eighth inch this one was a 91 Scott, you know, originally threaded, converted to threadless. It has a huge amount of different shocks, headsets, uh, stems, bars available for it. And yeah, you can customise to your heart's content. You can even stick a one inch fork in there if you want. Currently, this one has a Surly Ogre 27.5 on. Which kind of brings me to my next point. Wheels. This one, this fork obviously can fit a 27.5. I'm pretty sure Adam, Toasty Rides, managed to get a 27.5 in the rear on one of his bikes, but I'm not sure what year that was from. But 26 as a standard. Hell of a lot of parts available for it still. Different tires, whether you want something like this, which is more of a cross tie. Do you want something super knobbly? They're available. Everything's available for them. If you want to go a bit bigger, sure, I can stick a 27.5 on the front here, or I can stick a 700C on a regular rigid fork. No problem whatsoever. I've done it before. I've done it on Diamondback Apex. I can link that video um, in the description. But. The 700 C's go in here, and instead of using V brakes or cantilevers, you use these little mounts at the top and stick a caliper through, and it works. I think I ran 28 C tyres. So we've got a whole versatility of fork, headset, stem, bars. We've got a versatility in the wheels, versatility in the bottom bracket all the equipment that you can put on it. I think they're the best. They're the best bikes that we can get and modify. And I'm sure a bunch of people out there, a bunch of you guys have got modified retro rides. Um, and it's, I don't think it's something that you can do with a road bike. You can't just go adding different disc brake, uh, different brakes on. Like this one would originally come with canters. I can stick V-brakes on there. I can stick Maguras on there. I can stick a disc brake on there if I wanted to there. No problem, I could weld a tab on the rear or get an adapter. I could stick a caliper on there if I wanted to go 700C wheels, or if you really want to try and risk it, your super long reach calipers with the 26s. Road bike, 27s, 700s, yeah, no problem. 26s, no, you're not going to be able to get them in. 27.5, maybe, um, but again, 27.5 is kind of a maybe for this. I think these are super versatile bikes, um, and they'll be a great base for anyone looking to, I say, build their own bike, modify their own bike. You've got a ton of parts available for it hydro, thumb shifters, trigger shifters, whichever. You can change those between bikes anyway, but you know, the 90s was a kind of a time of development, fast development between the different systems. And um, I know we're still developing today. Super slick, wide ratio gearing. But yeah, something about these frames that I just, I just love. They're great. They're great bikes to just play with, play with and modify. I've got this one kitted up with a rack now as well, so I can haul stuff on. It will take it. If it ever gets 
broken or bent I can just get it welded potentially yeah so yeah I just thought I'd start for a quick five minutes explain that and then get on with my ride back to work so uh, let me know your thoughts theories and uh, your experiences with the 90s bikes and uh, yeah maybe we'll do a bit more of these discussions but 90s bikes 90s mountain bikes are the most versatile bikes that you can get if you want to get into modifying changing and all that your bike they can take a lot of abuse there's a lot of parts available for them and they'll last forever thanks for watching leave your thoughts down below and i'll see you in the next one